Hello and uh, welcome to um, Psi 0622, Improvement of K-12 through Math Instruction. I'm your instructor and I thought I would just introduce myself, hi, and maybe we would just kind of step through the syllabus a little bit um, in this little video here so I can just point out the things that I think are really important for you. So what I'm going to encourage you to do, if you haven't done yet, I'm going to ask you please to pause me and download the syllabus. Go to the Drury web page, go to Moodle up in the right hand corner, log in, go to the course, find the, um, find the syllabus there and download it and print it off because I'm going to mark up the copy that I'm going to put up on the screen here and it'd probably be good for you to maybe be able to mark up as well so you see the things that I think are, are really important that I want to be sure you see. So please do that and while you are doing that I'm going to step off screen for just a second So, you should be pausing me. You shouldn't be hearing my voice right now. You should be pausing me and downloading a copy of the syllabus and printing it off. And while you're doing that, I'm getting ready to go through the syllabus with you. So, I hope you are now listening to me because it is after the time at which you downloaded and printed off the syllabus and are ready to go. So here we go. I have taken the first page off the syllabus uh, that had all the, the bridge and all that stuff. Don't need to see that. So this is the first page for the course specifically. And actually, it's just like the first half of the first page. That's all I could get on comfortably on, uh, on the screen. So uh, what do I want to say here? Um, don't, you should read everything very, very carefully, but I just want to stress on this page, I guess, there is me. That is my name, Dr. Keith Coates. Um, you can read all my contact info and my instructor's bio. But that's all we need off the first half of the first page. And then I think the second half, please uh, go uh, read that carefully and get, get your book, Teaching Elementary Mathematics to Struggling Learners. I chose that book, um, I will say in part, because there are an awful lot of special ed folks, uh, special ed um, uh, teachers in, in training in the class, but not just for that reason. Um, I have found the times I've taught this class before that, um, that every teacher who has been teaching is struggling to figure out how to uh, get some concepts across that students are struggling with. Students are having uh, trouble with some basic things and um, the, the students enjoy sharing ideas of how they have overcome uh, those obstacles with students. And so I feel like, you know, gee, we're all struggling learners, so this seemed like a, a good kind of orientation to take. And I, I um, uh, think it's, it's a pretty good book that we're going to go through. All right, and then let's see. Um, then here's the, you know, some of the standards that we're meeting in the course. And it talks about this electronic portfolio. That's a, um, a school of education requirement. I personally don't require that in this class. I mean, I guess I require it in that school of education is expecting it from you. So um, I, I'll talk about that a little bit more in, in a minute here. And I guess um, I want to say, yeah, for, <clears throat> so here, for, for portfolio purposes, right here, you should upload your summaries to the Folio Tech portfolio. So what? Each week we're going to read a chapter from our book. And uh, you're going to write a short, you know, half page to a page summary of the chapter and um, explaining the main points. And of course, I want it to be a well-written paper, grammar, all that stuff's going to matter. And for portfolio purposes, that's something you, you probably want to upload to your Folio Tech portfolio. Um, and we'll also be making discussion posts. You have to make a minimum of three per week. And so there are three discussion posts each week. And I, we're going to talk about the reading. We're going to focus on that. But of course, you all have experiences either in the classroom or in your own life of, um, of where you, that you can bring to bear on what we're discussing in the, in the book. So I hope that we all are able to do that. Um, and I guess I want to say, yeah, one post has to be an original post from you. And one post has to be a reply 
to someone else's so that we're engaging each other. A total of three posts, so you got to do another one in there, maybe another reply or maybe another original. Or, you know, some people end up doing um, much more than three, and that's great if we get real good discussions going on. That's what I, what I really like, what I really want to see. Um, so this is an attempt to kind of spur that. All right, let me rub this out. And what's next? Um, I guess I just want to say, yeah, your initial post is due by Thursday of, of the particular week we're in, 11.55 p.m., PM and it's always Central Daylight Time, but I always want to say here that earlier is better. All right, because um, the earlier you get it in, the earlier other people can think about what you said and give response posts to it, right? So if we, we're all posting on, you know, for the first time late in the evening, 11, or a Sunday um, night, you know, before 11.55 p.m., just a little bit, then we're all trying to get our reply posts in in the next, you know, 20 minutes, or that doesn't work. So earlier in the week is better. I don't think we should go past uh, Thursday. That, that's kind of pushing it there, but, but that's what I'm, I'm setting it at. Um, and what I uh, say down here is that uh, note, the schedule for the last week is different, and we'll talk about that when we get to the calendar, uh, but it, that week is condensed. All right. Um, and please, you know, read through here everything that I say about the points and all that. I'm, I'm not going to go into uh, any detail there. I, you, know, you can read that. I just want to, like I said, point out the things that might slip by here that are really important. Um, late work policy. Um, I don't allow late posts since others are dependent on the initial posts. So, so there can be no late posts. So, you know, if you miss a post, you just miss the points for that post. Uh, I will accept late summaries, but there'll be a 25 point deduction for each day they are late. All right. So 25 points a day. So, you know, hundred points starting off. You day, day late, you're down to 75. Two days late, you're down to 50. So, you know, don't do that. But I don't think this is that onerous. The chapters are not terribly long, and I'm not asking you to write a huge analysis, just a half page to a page summary. I think this is something that's quite doable. Um, let's see. I guess that's all I want to say on that page. And, um, uh, yeah, you probably already know this, but uh, note that... Pretty much, if you get below a C, C minus or below, it's essentially an F in a graduate class. I don't anticipate anybody getting that low. I think you'll all do uh, in the A or B range um, because you're, you know, you're serious about your work. You wouldn't be doing what you're doing if you weren't serious about it. And I think we're going to do stuff that you'll find, I hope, helpful and I hope even a little bit of fun. So I think we all should be looking to get uh, good grades in this class. Um, next, attendance and participation. Uh, well, I, I, as I mentioned above here, it's not possible to make up posts at a later date, all right? So you really want to stay on top of things. You really want to be um, involved. And I want to encourage you uh, to check Moodle daily in case... I'm trying to reach you. All right. Um, I have students, maybe they hand something in, and then they don't check Moodle for weeks. And they hand the next thing in. And that's all they do. They get on and they hand stuff in. And I'm frantically trying to tell them that they've handed stuff in in a file format I can't read. And they have zeros for everything so far because I can't read anything they've sent. And then the last week comes around, I've actually had this happen. And the student said, how come I have all zeros? Finally, they're, they've taken notice and they've approached me electronically to ask me that. And that's the first time I'm able to say, well, not the first time I've tried, but the first time I'm able to get through to them that I haven't been able to grade anything because it's been, it's been, uh, in formats that I have not been able to open. All right, that's not in this class where we're doing discussions, but um, it's happened in other classes. And uh, so, you know, please check daily because there could be something that you really need to know that will change what you're going to do in the class, right? So, so it's, you know, checking in daily is like coming to class. If you don't come to class physically in a seated class, you can expect to miss things, right? So, so check in daily so that you don't miss anything important. 
And um, I think I just say the rest of the syllabus dot, or is it dot, 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 is just uh, kind of boilerplate stuff. Um, so I'm uh, not wanting to go over that. It's, it's important stuff, but I, there's nothing specific really for this course except at the very end, I think we jump here to the calendar. Yeah, so you can see how it works. Um, uh, so first week, week one, June 4th to June 10th, uh, chapter one, first post is due for chapter one, Thursday, June 7th by 11.55 p.m. Uh, chapter summary and two more posts due by uh, Sunday, June 10th, 11.55 p.m. C CDT, Central Daylight Time, the T got... Uh, trimmed off there, but it's Central Daylight Time, and that's the way it goes for all the weeks except the last one. The last one is different. The last one is condensed. So notice the, the, the dates and times are different. For chapter 8, the, in, during the 8th week, your first post is due on Wednesday, not on Thursday. And then the chapter summary and the two extra posts are due by Friday, 11.55 p.m., not Sunday. And the reason for that is because the course ends on Friday. We're not supposed to have any work beyond Friday. So that last week gets kind of compressed. So be ready for that, that last week. And I'll, I'll be reminding you, but keep it in your head. All right. I um, think that's about it. And um, I uh, think we're going to have fun in the class. And I'm looking forward to discussions. And I don't think we'll have uh, videos. Um, maybe there'll be some time when I will feel I will need to do a video or something like that. If one of you has a great point you want to make via a video, um, sure, go ahead and do that. That'd be great. But um, for the most part, we're going to be um, doing the discussions, and you're going to be uh, doing your readings and handing them in. And um, I think we'll have a good time, though. All right. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll start uh, on the 4th.